Hey guys, it's Kelsey, and I'm going to be doing an NVNC's Slayer Task Guide. Um, I'm going to show you how to unlock these if you haven't done it yet. A lot of people will like this task because they drop noted adamant bars uh, if you've done the Fremenic Card Diaries. If you haven't, they're going to be unnoted, but they're still pretty good money. So once you get that hard diary done, I highly recommend you do NVNC's. And how you unlock them is by going to your rewards and going to watch the birdie. Duradell, Steve, and Shelder will be able to assign NVNCs, um, AVNCs for your task. And you can also extend them for 100 points. So 180 points for the extension and, and the unlock, and for just unlocking them 80 points. I have them extended and unlocked because they're great for getting admin bars on Iron Man and they're great money making for a main account. Now, NVNCs are located in the God Wars dungeon or in the wild. Obviously, I'm going to be doing them in the wild. You're going to need one Zamorak item, one Ceridomen item, one Armado item, and one Bendos item. Okay, so please be aware of that. Um, for me, I'm bringing my Zamorak, Black Dehyde Body, Armado Chaps, Bendos Boots, and a Holy Symbol for a Ceridomen item. It kind of triggers me because you can bring better gear, but the problem is that the monsters will constantly be attacking you. For example, I'm sacrificing my necklace of anguish for a holy symbol and things like that. You have to range the ambiences, so there's no other option. You must range them. Okay, and I'm going to show you all how to get there. It's best to bring a fire battle staff because there are some, or not battle staff, it can just be a regular staff actually because there are they drop nature runes and a lot of alkables so that's always great a recommended stats um higher defense is good unless you're protecting against prior with them and uh, a higher range is good another thing i want to say is that you must range them and if it's your first time to god wars dungeon you will need a rope I do not have a rope on me because I've already been to God Wars Dungeon. However, if it's your first time, bring a rope. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. I make usually about 700, 600k to 700k a task because I have them extended. And I also bring my imbued Slayer Helm. If you don't have your Slayer Helm imbued, just bring a God Wars Coif. The reason why you need one of each god item is because um if you don't have one of these on you will not be protected from the zamrak monsters ceridoman monsters armadillo monsters um or bandos monsters and we want to avoid that i also have a little super run energy and i have a restore pot once again if you this is your first time to god wars dungeon you need a rope. I teleported to Trollium. Trollium requires you to complete the Edgar's Ruse quest. If you had not completed the Edgar's Ruse quest, don't worry. You can still get to God Wars Dungeon. You just need to complete Stroll Tr Stronghold. And if you've completed Stroll Str Troll Stronghold, another way, oops, that's not what I wanted to show. Um, yeah, another way you can get you can get to the God Wars dungeon if you haven't done Edgar's Bruce is to complete Troll Stronghold, start at the game's necklace and birth rope, and you have to run all the way with climbing boots to God Wars dungeon. So basically it's gonna be birth rope, climb up here, go up here, da -da 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 -da, here, 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 through here, and through that rock, and here you go. You need at least 70 strength or seven or seven, 60 strength, I believe, or 70 agility to get to push the rock or go through the agility course. Now, since I'm wearing my all my God Wars items, I'm pretty good on them not attacking me. And I'm just going to attack this Ambiances because it's already attacking this Blood Veld. And it's almost dead. And basically, boom, there it drops my Slayer XP and there's an admin, noted admin bar drop. Once again, you must range these. You can only attack them with range. Another great thing is that they count for your armadillo kills. So if you kill 40 of these and then go kill armadillo, you'll get points for your slayer task. Armadillo counts as an ambiances, and these to get your kill count to get to armadillo counts as um, kills. So 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and that this has helped you all out. People don't do this task a lot, but it's definitely worth it. As you can see, I've already gotten eight admin bars within talking to y'all, and that is already 16K. So it's really phenomenal. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy this guide. You're welcome to subscribe to my channel for more videos that I post, or you're just welcome to give this a thumbs up if, you, if it helped y'all. Thanks for watching.